So hello everyone, my name is Donald, I'm the founder of Look. Uh, thank you Julie for uh, letting us the chance of speaking in front of you. It's not an easy, an easy thing to go after Alain, but uh, this app might help you discover the world as well. So Look is a live streaming mobile app, um, video live streaming mobile app that lets you ask anyone to be your webcam. So. This is how it works. Basically, with the app, you can request a live stream from any other user of the app, but based on their location. So let me give you a concrete example. If you're at home and you want to see what the Machu Picchu looks like in Peru, well, the app will send a notification to all the users that are at the Machu Picchu now. And once the request is picked up by one of them, you'll get a live stream sent back to your device. So this is the mechanism. You open up the app and you see all the users that are plotted on the map anonymously. So you actually don't have to know the person you request the stream from. You just request the stream from a given location. And this is one of the major um, difference that we have compared to the other live streaming apps that exist, is that with the, old, with the other apps, what you can do is connect to an existing random stream. And with Look, you can actually request one based on the location you want to see. So you can add a message before sending your request saying what you want to see. In this case, let's say anything interesting to see. And this will initiate a push notification to all the people that are at the search location, in this case, Machu Picchu. When they accept it, they will, get, they will send you a video of the location. So this is the basic idea. Of course, once these one-to-one -one streams are ended, we save the videos on, on the platform for everyone to see, and the readings that people will do on the, on the video will impact its lifetime. So the more people like the video, the longer we'll keep it on the platform. The more people dislike the video, the sooner it will disappear. So we have a kind of curation system made by the users. And there's other tools, of course, to share and to comment the, the videos. So this is the product status. We launched a few weeks ago in late March. Um, at approximately the same time, we closed our seed round from uh, two different investors. And actually, more than the money, they also brought us uh, some very good uh, mentorship. And you know, we gained advisors. With Virality, we have Mike Gosens and Bart Bex, who, has, who were really helpful. And with Wing, which is a government-backed uh, fund, they were really also very helpful. So since then, what we've been really focusing on was to identify the best use cases of the app. We just didn't want to go after downloads. We just wanted to make sure that we identified how the people use the app and for what they use the app. So we have a small community of users now of approximately 1,500 users a month, monthly active users. But we've seen that you know, traction is building up. They've generated over 15,000 stream requests in over 80 countries. So the business model, of course, we need to get a large number of users to get to there. But um, it's a great way to enter location-based uh, ads business. Um, second thing is that we plan to um, introduce virtual credits so that people can incentivize the people that will film for them by tipping them before, during, or after the stream. And the third one, which is an interesting one, is for media companies and brands. So over the past few weeks, we've attended some shows and we, were, we had the chance to speak to large media groups and brands. And what we've seen is that there was a tremendous need for them to access user-generated content. And there's actually no streamlined process to do that. And so by speaking with them, what we did was develop a media platform. And this is how it works. Uh, in this example, we took CNN. Well, the media platform lets media companies place geofenced markers on a map. And so whenever something happens, this media company can place a marker on the map, and as soon as people will enter this perimeter, they will get a notification saying, for example, CNN needs you now. So this gives them access to all the users and 
you know, they're able to leverage a community of users to get instant reporters on the spot anywhere in the world at any time. So all the videos will be aggregated on a platform accessible only by the media company for them to preview the videos, select the best ones, and embed the best ones into their websites, social media, apps, whatever. So our team, we're currently five. There's myself, we have three developers, and Ludwig, who's located in San Francisco, is taking care of business development over there, so we have a presence in the States as well. We plan to raise our next round by early next year, uh, looking to raise approximately 1.2 million, which will cover the next 18 months of operation. And as you can see, a big chunk of it will be for development and team, uh, some on marketing and other costs. So if you can help us, it would be great. If you have an iPhone, please download the app. Have it for a spin. Let us know what you think. Feedback is really important for us, whether it's good or bad, especially if you, if you find something that needs to be improved, please do let us know. And we're always looking for partnerships. You know, I was mentioning the media platform. We're going to start a pilot uh, over the next few days with uh, two press groups in Belgium, and we're very open to making new deals. That's it. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah.